And today, thousands of volunteers filled Gamebridge Fieldhouse to help feed hungry Hoosiers. Yeah, I stopped by this year's Million Meal Marathon and got to catch up with one of the people behind the movement that started more than a decade ago. Check it out. All right, everybody, it's that time of year. The Million Meal Movement is underway. I'm here with Dan Hintz. Dan, it's always good to see you, man, especially around this time of year. Oh, it's great to see you. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's great to bring the community together mm -hmm. and uh, do something good for our neighbors. Yeah, and of course, you know, over the last couple of years, COVID is a factor in, in hunger across the state. Uh, for you guys, how important is this movement, even more so than it's been in the past? Oh, absolutely. COVID dislocated a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our food pantry partners say, that 40% of the people coming through had come through for the first time. Wow. So people who had never been food insecure were suddenly looking for how am I going to get food for my family. Yeah. And, you know, in the past we've always said one out of five Hoosiers are food insecure. Mm -hmm. I think when the new numbers come out, it's going to be closer to one out of four, if not even worse. Okay. So not 20%, 25 or 30% possibly. Yeah. And... Um, it's great to be able to bring the community back together and to help keep food on the shelves of those food pantries to help these people out. We're calling attention to, of course, a very serious issue, but this atmosphere, it's a lot of fun. It's fun. People come together, they have fun doing something great, and it's largely employers bringing their employees out to have a memorable experience to do something great as a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's wonderful to see it builds camaraderie a sense of achievement. I especially love when they're able to bring families and children. You know, I, so many times we introduce children to their inner hero for the first time, where yeah. they say, we always tell children they're great, but then for them to actually do something and see something tangible from their efforts and say, I did that. Mm -hmm. I really can do good for someone else. It's wonderful to see. So it's great for our children. It's great for our adults, great for our community, and especially great for the people who get to eat food where otherwise they may have to skip a meal. Obviously, you guys were expecting a lot of people because we're in Gamebridge. Right? <laughs> uh, do we know about how many volunteers we're looking at right now? I, I think we're close to 2,000, which okay. is wonderful. That's huge. You know, you think about it, we work shoulder to shoulder, and we have these exciting, engaging events. COVID, you can't work shoulder to shoulder. Right. So we're sort of getting our sea legs back. We're, uh, we're, we're building back the momentum, wanting to get back to those four or 5,000 uh, volunteer days that we used to have. Mm -hmm. But we're probably going to come in between one and 2,000 this year. Uh, so for next year, or if uh, any of your viewers would like to do something for their social group, their yeah. place of employment, we're happy to come out to you and do your own event. Oh, nice. And, in fact, when you do that, you can take the meals and take them to the food pantry that's closest to uh, where you are. Okay. So you can affect your own neighborhood directly. I love that. I love that. Okay, so for those who want to get involved outside of the Million Meal Movement, if you missed today, unfortunately, uh, how do people do that? Go to our website. We have monthly packaging events. Contact our staff if you'd like more information about doing your own event mm -hmm. or getting together a group to uh, a few companies to come together, maybe in your same building, and just do it. Have fun. Have your own event, your own time. We're, we're happy to help. Uh, the next marathon is next year, Hello. and uh, we're, we'll be excited to uh, bring more people out to that. But uh, you don't have to wait, and people are hungry every season. So. Hello. Uh, you know, going into the, uh, the the winter months, the these food pantries need food as well. Yeah, yeah, big time, big need. Oh my gosh, Dan, it's good to see you good face to, see to you. face again. Yes. And guys, we're gonna have more. I think eventually I'm gonna have to figure out how to pack one of these. What do you think? I think let's do that. Yeah, we can do that right now. Yeah, let me, I'm gonna go get some packing going. I'm gonna get my form together. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, the Million Meal Marathon continues until 7:30 tonight at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. And the great thing is. All the meals that are packed today will go to food banks and families here in Indiana, including Midwest Food Bank and, of course, Gleaners. We love mm, them. I love this, Randall. I love this so much. Nobody should be hungry. No, no. And then, of yeah. course, you know, that stat he said, it's, it's worse than it was before. Mm -hmm. It used to be one in five. Now we're looking at one in four or worse. So it's even more important that you help out people in need. So, yeah. Thank you for going out there and, and checking that out. Oh, you got you know you got to get out there. Plus, you know, I got to hang out with a with a certain someone. Uh -huh. We had a little competition. You'll see that later on in the oh, show. Oh, like a little competition.